Let's begin as we always do with our story of the week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the honor today because I actually have two. Okay. Uh, number one, mince pies, the seasonal holiday treat, which are supposed to be good until the 26th of December. That's the date that's supposed to be stamped on the box. Yeah, this is September. It's all September. They're already in Sainsbury, Asda, and you Tesco. Are no way. People are complaining that they will be stale by Christmas, so you better eat them up now. <laughs> And my second story is this little video clip where Trump supporters are booby trapping their signs to keep people from stealing them. Watch this. But both attempts at snatching the sign have been unsuccessful. I'm 2 and 0 right now on that. You see, Philip figured this might happen. That's why he's taking matters into his own hands with some fishing wire and string spray painted green. He set up a camera after the first attempt. It captured a woman on Tuesday trying to take off with the goods, but you can see she doesn't make it far. She loses her footing and lost her grip and she went flying. So whatever you do, don't mess with Trump supporter signs anywhere. <laughs> Phil, what have you got, mate? Well, I've got it today is um, my story of the week, right? Is it's the hundredth anniversary of Vogue, uh, that's called the Bible of the fashion world, right? And, and it's um, New York Fashion Week this week too. New York Fashion Week, it's just yeah, just and they're doing a uh, BBC one of those you know behind the scenes documentary things about it, right? And I've got to admit, I've got cards on the table. I'm not a great fan of the fashion world, right? Because as far well, as why, I'm, but that's not true. Well, we started this whole thing thank with you those fashion very tips. much. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. But as far as I'm, because I basically my journal, I'm a troublemaker, right? My journalism no. is about. As my mom, Pat Hannon said, shouting discouragement from the sidelines. <laughs> and as far as I can work out, these things are not like that. If you don't do, if you, they call them collections, don't they, or something? If you don't write a good review of the collection, then you won't get invited to the other one. There you go. Uh, the next one. Pay for so play. I, I hate that. But anyway, and they always have these goodie bags, right, in oh, these yeah. things. Oh, yeah. And um, <coughs> it, it, when they were filming this and researching for the Vogue 100th anniversary, uh, one of the goodie bags um, contained a, a skin cream costing 250 quid. Now, a tube of skin cream costing 250 quid. Now, call me old-fashioned, but 250 pounds for skin cream? You know, and where, what do they where, do anyway? Where, where have you been, brother? Where have <laughs> yeah. you been? You're going to say, oh, that's cheap. I mean, there are skin creams <laughs> yeah. out there, exfoliators that have uh, flecks of gold. Ex and do you call them exfoliators? Well, that yeah, just means just taking the takes um, the skin off, skin off isn't it? But it's, it's supposedly something that's very healthy for you because then you can use other products to put the skin back on. Uh, so you use the skin <laughs> cream? I would never, never confess to using that. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just a little uh, bit of uh, Nivea men, and I'm I'm yes. ready. I'm ready for whatever the day has. 